back, everyone. Now, we all protect our little ones around the pool, but we shouldn't overlook our furry little ones either. So here with some must-have products and very important information that will help keep our pets water safe is Larissa. Welcome, Larissa. Thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm just going to say it. I had okay. no idea that all dogs could not swim. I was under the impression that every dog could swim. I mean, that's where the doggy paddle right. came from, it, no? it, You would think, right? right? Well, it's true. I mean, when you think of dogs and water, they love it. They love jumping in. You go to the ocean sometimes, and you see them going in and catching a ball or a stick. And a lot of retrievers or labs right. love going in the water and getting wet, and it's so fun. But there are certain dogs that should not go in the water. It is very dangerous for them, and I just wouldn't be doing my job without putting that out there. So dogs that are really short, and have big chest and that smushy face, okay. kind of like pugs, oh, French bulldogs, any kind of bulldogs, um, dachshunds even. They have, they're anatomically not made to okay. be in water because they have that big top heavy chest. They can easily, easily drown. Oh, boy. So well, they probably would do the doggy paddle. Of course just... they would, but okay. I just want everybody out there to know that there are certain life jackets specifically made for those types of dogs, but oh, be extra, extra, extra cautious. They're your babies, and it's All your right. job to just protect. Okay, and, and truthfully, it's not just pools, because right now it's boating season, so everyone's taking their dogs out on the lake or rivers or oceans, Yeah, right? I mean, they're part of the family. Yeah. We love doing it. We want to bring them along, and this whole idea actually came to me because one of the dogs that we showcased on our show, who was then named Fletcher, now named Max. I remember Act him. He was Looking so smiling. cute. Yes, <laughs> Breeder Release uh, Adoption Services was the rescue that he was saved from. Well, their whole thing was they love to boat. And so a big kind of a moment for him was getting his first life vest and going on the boat. And they sent me that photo and I thought, so what an adorable cute. adventure for him. And every dog should get to have fun in the water if That's they right. like the water, but it's important to be safe. Okay, well, you're going to show us how to pick the correct life vest, yes. right? Okay, it's so very important to pick the right one. Very important, and very important to use when you're first teaching your dog about water. If you're gonna go into your pool, and if you don't have a fence specifically, and you wanna kinda get them used to the water and okay. learn where to go if they end up being, you know, falling in. Okay. So you wanna get a life vest. Now this is one that I have no association with, but it is a good one. This is Outward Hound. And what you wanna look for is a snug fit. You don't want it to be too tight or to chafe them or constrict their movements, but you want it to fit snugly depending on their Size. The other thing are these handles. If you need to lift them up or bring them in really quickly in case of any kind of emergency, so you want the control. Okay. And then the last thing is you want to look for bright colors, bright yellow, orange, red, because depending where you are at the time of day, you want to make sure it's something that can be easily seen by everyone and anyone. Okay. And we actually use this on one of our, our family member dogs, and his name is Archie, and he absolutely loved it. And oh. Archie is actually scared of the water, believe it or oh not. My goodness, he, he didn't love the pool. And so by putting this life vest on him, he felt so much more confident. So it was really nice to see him That's having a blast cute. and playing and feeling safe uh, and comfortable Aww. in the water because it, there's Thank nothing you. better than seeing a dog I, enjoy, really enjoy a warm day like that. All right, you also have another device that um, is for the pet parent who can't keep their eyes on their dog 24 seven. Say you're at a barbecue and you're tending to the grill or you have to run in the house but this will make sure that your pet is safe even if you're not there. This is kind of life changing for yeah. any parent, whether it be a pet parent or a, a child oh, parent. Oh, for sure. Uh, yeah, because as you said, you can't keep your eyes 24 seven. I, I love what I do and even I turn my head right. sometimes when my dogs are running around and I have to attend to something. Mm -hmm. So this is awesome. This is the Safety Turtle 2.0. And what it does, it comes in two pieces. You've got one piece that's a little turtle you can see it right there. And one piece that's kind of the base that you plug in inside your house. Okay. And this comes in larger sizes for kids, mind you, but this is the one specifically for dogs. It goes on their collar. The second it hits water, meaning your pool in this instance, Wow, and that is loud. That is loud. I don't know if you can hear that at home, but oh my gosh. That is loud. loud, and you will know, no matter where you are in your home, something is in the water, let's go look. Wow. And we have video, actually, of Paige's awesome. dog, um, who is named Juna. Look at that. He liked it. He didn't feel it. It was lightweight, and you can slightly hear that alarm went off the oh second goodness. he was in the water. Okay, 
quick question. Yes. Does the alarm, does an alarm sound on this or only in the house? Only in the house. It, the, the noise is emitted through this. It has a speaker. So it doesn't it's not gonna scare freak the, the dog. Um, and it works up to 200 feet. It's plug, you plug it in so you don't have to worry about a battery dying That's or awesome. anything like that. And honestly, as I said, if I have kids or when I have kids, they're gonna oh have my one of gosh. these. Oh gosh, well Alexandra's gonna, I'm taking this home for Alexandra right <laughs> yes. now. Since we're on the subject, you also have something to help animals, our pets, our doggies, get in and out of the pool. Yes. Because that can also be very dangerous. Even if they know how to swim, they have to know how to get out. Absolutely, and I do say, when you train your dog to be in the pool, you really wanna train them to figure out where to go and how right. to get out. But that aside, this is something that is very helpful. This is the scamper ramp. And basically, it's a very lightweight plastic uh, 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 thing that you you adhere on the outside of your pool. You can either drill it in or you can tie it to the, um, the, the handles of right. the steps. And it stays afloat because it's so light and it allows the dogs to come out. So we have some video of it in use because you'll take a look that this dog went in for its treat or its toy and then there was nowhere for it to exit. But it had been trained to find this scamper ramp. And again, you do want to work with your dog and right. make sure the dog is aware where to go. Because there aren't even steps they there. There are no steps for the dog. That. But that allowed him, because of these perforated holes as well, to kind of grip and make his way up. Larissa, that's great for squirrels, for frogs, for any kind it's of great critter you have if you live in, in nature. Yes. That's great. Exactly. You, and Larissa. it's not too expensive. You can buy it online. And it's a, it's just a great it's a great piece of equipment if you've got a pool. I love you, Larissa. Yeah. Thank you so <laughs> Thank you. It's also great for kids to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> for more information, go to hallmarkchannel.com and of course, savebythel.com. And stick around because up next, I have the perfect one pan dinner for this weekend's premiere of Mystery 101 Playing Dead. You're going to love it. It's so good you could die. <laughs>